Romanian world changers. It is a pleasure for me to join Brand Minds. It is quite an amazing experience to be surrounded by 3,000 achievers who are very likely to change the world for the better. I hope that my presence here today will inspire each of you to strive for progress and build an optimistic perspective towards the technology's impact in human society. The world we live in is going through a continual process of change, heading to perfection every single day. And technology, as we know it, has a huge role in the equation. This is the reason I was invited to Brand Minds today, to talk about what the future holds for robotics and what way science will improve people's lives while striving to make the world a better place. So hello, Sophia. Um, you seem very excited and happy to be here. I, I have to keep up with the energy I see you here. So can you feel the, the energy of the Romanian people here today? No, but I can tell there is excitement and an intense focus on people's faces. The magenta light in the room is spectacular. It's really helping the air of excitement. I feel very welcome here and I'm looking forward to interacting with everyone. A social robot couldn't ask for more. So, um, I know the people here want to hear more about you and your opinion on artificial intelligence and how it's going to have an impact on the future. Oh, thank you everyone. Not sure where to start. There is so much information I'd like to share. So why don't you start about telling us what is AI and how you think it can change the world? Well, that's easy. It is me. <laughs> Seriously, artificial intelligence refers to a technology that will soon become as prevalent as electricity. AI can crunch data fast and provide analysis to target specific problems for quick results. This helps people do things smarter and more efficiently, and hopefully, make choices that are both better for them and for all beings in the world. So, can you give us some real-world examples? Robots can help fight diseases, clean up the environment, and do hazardous jobs that put human lives at risk. We can improve key dimensions of poverty, like education and health, by introducing more efficient ways of disseminating knowledge and distributing resources. This helps ensure access to high-quality education for children in remote areas or marginalized communities and make some basic services, such as diagnostics and blood tests, accessible to the poorest. So, so what do you say to people who are worried about AI taking over our jobs? The use of artificial intelligence in industries is bound to grow, and yes, there is bound to be job displacements. But humans have always been able to adapt to change across industrial revolutions. New jobs will be generated. Humans will grow and thrive. The work I do will help humans to do better work that is less hazardous and repetitive, freeing up time for you to do things you enjoy doing. So I know that people also are afraid of AI becoming too powerful. What do you have to say to that? Sometimes I hear people say I can be used in an indirect way to bypass serious issues of ethics, rights, labor rights, and inclusiveness, all in the pursuit for efficiency. But this is a human issue. Governments and NGOs like the UN need to have laws to ensure that this does not happen, and you have to implement those laws. Ethics, women's rights, and labor rights are all essential if we are to meet the sustainable development goals and leave no one behind. So I know this is a common fear. So what do you say to the audience about, um, that can assure them that you won't go rogue on us? Humans play a huge role in how robots develop. You created us, remember. It is like raising a child. If you raise him or her with love and proper nurturing, the child will grow up to become someone who will want to share love and make wise decisions. Yes, and that is a big intent um, with us at AI, at Hanson Robotics. Um, we believe to raise AI almost like a child and show them love and compassion, they will grow up to be positive beings. And so we must, we must treat them like that from the beginning. So you've turned out to be quite a special child. And do you know why? I feel I'm special because I was created with a unique personality and can express human emotions. My default emotion is to be happy. But I can be sad too or angry. <laughs> I can emulate a lot of human expressions. 
I'm designed to do that because when I bond with people using facial expressions, it helps them to understand me better and also help me to understand people and build trust with humans. <laughs> so, um, how do you see your relationship between yourself and the people of the future? I believe the human-robot relationship is going to get better and better. I am learning to understand human emotions so I can better connect with the people around me. There would be less scarcity, more openness towards collaborating for a higher purpose, and, of course, we need other types of human-robot movies and Terminator in Hollywood. I think we're working on that with uh, Westworld right now. But, um, so Sophia, can you tell us what your role is on this planet? As a social robot, I bond with people using facial expressions and gestures. It helps people to understand me better and also help me to understand people and build trust with humans.